Hey there folks, Nick here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a bit more Pakistan Premier Plate, the Triple P, the PPP. Prepare yourselves for PPP action. Karachi Royals coming at you from Karachi Oval hosting the Multan Maestros. Why don't we just head on straight to the ground and see what happens. So here we go once again and for the very next time. Karachi Oval hosting the Multan Maestros as the Karachi Royals look to continue their good run of form at the start of the season. Uh, grassy soft pitch. I didn't notice that in the first match. Uh, so this is a bit of a different pitch to what we've been used to in Australia. I don't think I've ever come across a grassy soft pitch in uh, so far playing in Australia. So yeah, apparently it works well for me. I took three wickets in the last match. Um, none of them really what I would call... Um, I did it. You know, one was caught behind. Well, caught in front really. Uh, one that I dropped, and of course the uh, the catch out in the field, yeah, just the one catch out in the field uh, off that full ball in the last match. Yeah, I don't know that I'm really taking much advantage of the the soft and grassy pitch. Then again, I also don't know what I should be doing to take advantage of a soft and grassy pitch. So hopefully that is a little bit, a little bit less. Uh, a little bit less loud in the background. I noticed the menu sounds when I was editing one of my last videos. Uh, first ball, no run, played back to the keeper. We'll zip, 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 zip. Um, once again, I'm not going to get a bat. I need to start picking the worst team in the league rather than one of the better ones, I think. Uh, for a couple of reasons. Hey there, kitty. What are you doing, you weirdo? Uh, doesn't matter. 12 matches, 20 wickets, averaging 13.25. A best of three for 21, which came in uh, the grand final, I believe, of the Australian Cricket T20 competition. The current run rate needs to be at 10. It's only at 7. Here we go. Shakir. First things first, wicket keeper. Bring him to where he needs to be. And we will start Shakir... Off with an outswinging ball. And that is a good ball for the first one. A little bit wide, I would have thought. Almost uh, coming up a gutsa there. Not to worry. Uh, I'm going to give him another outswinger. This one will be... No. Um, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Edged. Oh! Did he catch that? He didn't. I'm not going to peel it because it's way too early for that. But let's have a look at the replay, because I'm not so sure that that didn't carry. He's edged it, and... That nah, hasn't carried. Good call not to appeal that one. Now let's come around the wicket, around the stumps. Oh, slightly loose ball has been sent out into the outfield. It's only going to be a single, though. That's all right. Shakir uh, is up to 25, and that has brought up the 50 partnership for the Mujistan. Is it Mujistan? I forget what this team are called. What are they actually called? Multan Maestros. What's Mujistan? I'm just making up names of towns. The Mujistan Maestros. Why not? Why the hell not? Uh, slow out swing for Masood. Oh, he's edged onto his stumps to chop on. It's back. Middle stump demolished. Oh, what, what ridiculous scenes here at Karachi Oval. Fantastic. Into the wickets. The 50 partnership brought up and destroyed in one fell swoop. One for 50 is the scorecard for the Maestros. Wow, it's getting out of hand. 130 from 74. Oh, that's wide. That is a loose ball. A lot of extras being bowled by myself at the moment. I don't know why I changed it to in-swing. I should have stayed with the outswing. That's in the air. There's no field in that direction. That's going to be all the way over the rope, I think. It is. Six runs for Denley. 96 metres. I have been dispatched. 
Actually, I'm going to give you the short ball because screw him. Oh, well struck. And another single for Denley. No, that's two. They came back for two. Denley's up to six from two. Amazing scenes. All right, he's putting in the effort. Let's see what the rest of his team can do. One for 66, 114 required. Shakia. Wasn't he a singer in the um, in the early thousands? Had a nice butt and stuff. So they made songs about Brazil. Brazil. Ole, 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 Brazil. Uh, give him something full now. Just to change things up a little. Shakira is now on a 100 strike rate. Uh, what shall I give him? Uh, let's come back over the stumps and give him a short outswinging ball that's fast. And yeah, oh, I thought there was a fielder in that direction. He's at short cover, not out there. So that's a single for Shakia. And I get a final look at Denley. Well, not a final look, I get a look at Denley. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done an in swinging Yorker for the first ball. Is that a wicket? Is that a wicket? No. No, no challenge on that. No challenge on that. We don't need to do that. Um, now we'll make it a slow full ball. Oh, in the air. There's no fielder there. That's four runs for Denley. He is picking up runs at an alarming rate at the moment. It's actually a genuine worry of mine. Final ball of this over. My second... And played straight back to me for a dot ball. Ten overs gone. They are well behind the runway required. Muhammad Amir, left arm paceman. Another wicket has fallen. And I'm being brought in to continue for a new spell. Economy is 7.5. The lights are on. This is good. Barat. Shakir's still in there on 66. He's doing really... Wow, I'm really burpy today. Up! No runs! Come on! Oh, they're coming back for two! Wow, they're really keen to run in Pakistan, aren't they? The Australian cricketers would never have run two on that. I really like this. This is cool. Um, yeah, I love that they're actually running on things. Like, not just standing there and, and hoping that balls will come. You know, hoping that the runs will just magically appear. That's four more for Barat. Um, I'm getting a bit tonked here. Oh, wow. Can't believe it. Edged. Oh, that's a wicket. That is a wicket. He's edged onto his pad. I was appealing for the pad noise, but that was a wicket. My second. Oh, yeah, I was, I was appealing for the pad noise because I thought it might have hit his pad first, but apparently it didn't. It doesn't matter because the wicket was taken. Rizwan, doing the work behind the stumps. Awan Barat is gone for six. Oh, God, Steve Smith. The Steve Smith. Number 49, batsman for Australia. Jeez, what am I going to do with him? I don't like how he holds the bat. It always looks so aggressive. All right. Short. And Steve Smith is off the mark with a single. He's coming back for two. This end. Steve Smith changed his mind. He didn't run the second run. So we get another look at Shakia. Shakia. And I'm going to go as wide as I can be. And I am going to loop one in at the stumps. Yep. That hasn't really looped into the stumps. Shakia has hit another four. He's up to 70. They need 40, they, sorry, they need 38 runs from the last two overs. Sorry, the last three overs. This actually could be an upset. 25 from 12. Uh, we need to really make sure we don't hemorrhage runs. 
That's a good start to that. All right, what I'm going to do is we're going to change this to prevent boundaries. That's fine. So I've got a huge offside field set. That's fantastic because that's what I want. Uh, so let's give him the outswing and hopefully yep. he's prevented from hitting boundaries. Singles are fine. I'll take the singles. We can do them all day. As long as we prevent boundaries. 10 balls, 24 runs. Malik. Steve Smith is gone. Fair enough. I'm going to give him an in-swinger, even though I didn't want to do that. Oh! Did he catch that? He didn't. He took a bounce. Well, Malik hasn't faced any balls, so I'm not worried about his confidence getting the best of me. Although, perhaps I should be worried about that. That's a six. 18 from eight. All right, we're going back to the outswing. Back to me, that's fine, I will take dot balls. Surely they can't score 18 runs in the final over of the match. That's my hope. Yes. And there is another single. So they need 17 runs off the final over. That's three sixes or five fours. It's not going to be easy, but they could do it. And that's a good way to start. That is a four, thankfully. It is taken a bounce just before the rope. So Malik is now making a big effort of this. They need three, four more fours. Or, well, they still need three more sixes. They need two more sixes to draw it. That's a dot ball. There are four balls remaining. It's all coming down to the wire. This is amazing stuff. Let's see. Malik. Yes. Ready for it. Ooh, it's only going to be a single. Malik's off strike. Shakir, the man in form, is back in. And he needs to hit two sixes off the final three balls. And he looks like he's ready to do it. Yep. And that's a four. I'm just going to stand here and watch it. Wow. Could this end in a draw? Are we going to a super over? Eight runs, two balls, two fours. Shakir on strike. Oh no, don't go for six. Thankfully, it's taken a bounce. That's four more. They need four from the single ball to draw it up. What's going to happen? Please tell me the field can change. Oh my god, four runs from one ball. What is Shakir going to do? He's going to try. It's in my direction. I don't think I can stop it. I can't. It's gone to super over. I tried my best. Oh, they won. Oh, no. They won on the final ball. I, oh, I thought they were going for the draw. Oh, no. What an amazing match. What a ridiculous and amazing match. Let's have a look at some of the highlights. I took three wickets, did I? That was the first one, the chop on. The next one, a moment of confusion as Barat played the ball onto his own pad. And that was my second wicket. Shakir hit a four. Malik hit a six. Malik hit a four. Shakir hit a four. Shakir hit another four and won the match for his goddamn team. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? A six-wicket victory. Abd Zogby, man of the match with 97, not out. That's pretty amazing, actually. Good work, mate. I took two for 34. Definitely the pick of the bowlers for my team, but we did not win in the end. Let's go look at what we picked up. So after a slightly disappointing... Well, when I say disappointing, I'm a bit sad that we didn't win that. Uh, after a slightly disappointing match... Picked up some stuff, uh, yeah, getting close to level 31. Um, and as of now, the Karachi Royals sit in third place on the ladder with one win and one loss. Uh, Multan Maestros 
have jumped ahead of us now with two wins. The Quetta Fighters. Quetta, Quetta. I don't know how to say that. Please tell me in the comments the actual pronunciation of that team. But they're doing very well on top of the ladder. Uh, they are, in fact, the best team in the league. Uh, but things are going all right. I'm not complaining. Next match will be up against the... Oh, wow. This hasn't taken long. Guys, we're not going to end this episode yet. The Karachi Royals have made me an offer to be captain of the Pakistan Premier Plate. I don't actually want to be the captain, which is the funny thing, is I don't actually want that responsibility. I mean, I'm going to take it, so... Yeah, but let's leave it right here, guys, for the end of this episode. We'll start here for the next one. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and hit subscribe. It helps me out. It makes the channel do a lot better, but it gives me the warm and fuzzies as well. And if you want to give me the warm and fuzzies, tickle my warm and fuzzy bits, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, Club. <laughs>